Hello guys, my name is Kishan and today we are going to talk about SQL loaders. This is the very first video of a series of videos that I am going to make on SQL loaders. This video will particularly concentrate on the introduction and the concept around SQL loaders. Now SQL loader is a utility given by Oracle database. It has been there since a while. This utility is basically used whenever you want to load some data in a flat file, a data file or a CSV file into your Oracle database tables. It has a very powerful data parsing engine which would read your data file and then as per your instructions would load it into um, tab Oracle database tables. Now the main advantage that you get with an SQL loader is that it works across network meaning mostly you will have your Oracle databases running on a Unix box and there would be a lot of security restrictions on that Unix box so if you would like to load a file into your database you won't be permitted to put the file on the very system where the database is installed so as you can see on the diagram say this red box is our Unix box where the database is installed and you are accessing that database from, a, from say a, a Windows system a normal Windows system in that case both this environment are quite different now when you want to load a file that is present in your Windows system into your database you can use SQL loaders there are many different ways through which you can load files into database you can go full-fledged on Informatica that's a tool uh, which of course costs a lot uh, but if your primary concern is to load data on a system through which you can access the database SQL loader can do that job what this would do is whenever you will have a file on any Windows system and from that Windows system if you are able to access the Unix box or the database you can write a control file we'll get to know what control file is later on so you can write a control file that will instruct the database to load the file from your client system onto your database okay so this is the basic concept of SQL loader and why it should be used it is very much helpful when you want to load data a file from a client system into your Oracle database now there are lots of other advantages of SQL loader it the very um, the very second reason that SQL loader should be preferred is that it has an excellent error logging mechanism now it generates three kinds of files actually it gives you a regular log file this log file basically contains the uh, data about when the SQL loader was executed what kind of files did it generate how much data it loaded how much time it took how much data got skipped, how much got discarded and all that information that you would require then it gives you a bad file now this bad file is also a log file which logs the records that got rejected because it didn't met uh, the parsing criteria then you have discard files discard file basically contains all those records which were discarded because of your condition the where clause uh, that you would have kept in your SQL loader we'll get to know all of these things when we talk about control files so it gives them sophisticated logging error logging system and the next thing is you can manipulate the data before loading it say you want to you you are having names in your files and you want to just um, load everything in case uppercase then you can use your SQL functions to do those kind of modifications you can use sequences if you have had already defined Oracle sequences you can use them here you can give constant values for your columns if there is any column where you want some constant value to be filled in you can go through this you can do selective loading with SQL loader so you can have when clause like when this criteria is met then only load this file like if this column ID is one then I want the data all else just discard it so all those discarded records would go into the discard log file now there are two ways of loading 
there is something called as conventional and direct path loading both have their pros and cons so we'll talk about them when we get to that okay the next is you can really load multiple files in a single session okay and you can load a single file into multiple tables in the single session so that much kind of a level of things you can just achieve with control files I say I have three files I, lo I want to load it into an Oracle table you, I can do it with one control file now say there's a scenario where I want to load data based on condition like when this criteria is match load into this table when the other criteria is match load into the second table so those can be very well done with SQL loader so this is a pic pictorial uh, thing about the SQL loader that I just uh, made so basically you you will have SQL loader say suppose take it as an uh, utility okay it needs a control file that we will write basically this is the only thing that we, we are going to write so this control file will have all the DDL commands what which will instruct the SQL loader on the data file now this data file can be any CSV file or any um, file file through uh, on which uh, there are uh, data in some kind of a format though the data cannot be just any in any format because basically we have to tell the loader how to parse the data and then load it okay so you can have a dat file a comma separated file or a pipe separated file or anything like that even a free flowing file with a uh, with uh, perfect uh, defined amount of length will also work we'll uh, we'll look into all those different type of data files and on when we are going to see an example of this yeah so the control file will instruct the uh, SQL loader on reading the data file SQL loader would parse this data file understand it and then load that into the database and while doing so it generate three log files one would be log file second would be bat file and third would be discard file as we talked before log file will have all the information about the session log about the loading session bat file will have the ex actual records which got rejected due to the parsing issues and discard file will have those records which fail to meet your criteria the when criteria okay um, so this is all about the introduction to SQL loaders now on in the next video I'll write a control file and we'll see how we can actually load it so we'll have a data file we'll have a control file and we'll load it into the database I hope you enjoy this video